gonna hit you guys with something a little different um, I have some time I have some pieces here I think I'm gonna do a diorama not sure what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do it just kind of guess freestyle off the top and, and see what's what I don't do too many dioramas on this channel just because I'm not really good at it I feel but I know it's one of those things where you do it often enough and uh, you get better at it so I have a couple of things here so you're gonna need an exacto knife and my pencil for marking. I got a ruler. I got my hot glue gun. Uh, I have my pink foam, uh, which you guys can get at your uh, uh, Home Depot. And I got these uh, cake tops. I don't know how or when I eventually had these in my possession, but I have them and I snagged them. And I think I'm going to do or make some sort of columns or pillars with these. So this is what I have at my disposal. So uh, I don't know. Let's get into it. Here I'm applying a uh, black wash, uh, basically it's just a mixture of black acrylic paint with some water and what I'm doing is trying to get that paint and water mixture to seep into the cracks and the crevice, that's how you get those uh, nice uh, dark lines. I, I like how it uh, came out, I think I'm going to do a couple more things, I'm going to make this area in the pillars, just maybe give it another white, um, a coat of white. And then finally, I'll probably just do another quick um, black wash just to run it over, just to make sure that I get those lines, um, those indents, every crevice um, mixed with paint. And then I think I might do a little brown dry brush around just to kind of make it look weathered and old. And yeah, I think that's that. All right, y'all. Here is the finished product. Um, I guess I took some liberties and changed up um, what I initially wanted to do. Um, here's a few here. As you can see on the ground, uh, what I did is I actually did um, a red and a brown wash and splattered a little bit of red just to kind of simulate like blood to be like, I guess, a warrior's type of location or a spot where they might fight so 
I took some liberties on that, changed it up, and here's a view from the top. Um, here's the wash and the crack that I did. Really simple. This took me a couple of days, a couple of minutes here and there. And um, just something I wanted to do to um, add to my toy photography and displays. Um, the background is something that I've used before, that I've had before. It's, um, you know what? I got to stop being lazy. I'm actually going to go build a little backdrop piece about the same um, width as this. Just to have something. Might even put some magnets on the corners to ha leave it propped up. You know what? Yeah. I'm satisfied with this and how it looks right now. And hope you guys enjoyed the process of me doing the videos and whatnot. Just one of those things. Hey, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm far from a, an artist. And everything that I've done here to do this, I've gotten advice from the community and other YouTube videos. So definitely, definitely, definitely something to enhance your displays. And I'm going to stop being lazy, stop half-assing, and I'm going to do a proper backdrop and background for this. So give me a little bit. I'll be back, y'all. Several days later. I finally, finally put in some work in, put in some time, finished this dio, and I am beyond satisfied and happy. I'm really, 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 really glad that I pushed myself here. Um, it's not the best diorama, but for me, um, I really like how it came out. And truthfully, doing the whole process just made me appreciate how damn good these these diorama makers are and I already have about two or three projects in the back of my mind that I want to get in on and get it started and it's just nice to have display pieces to enhance your figures I already love all my figures but there's just something about <coughs> taking <coughs> excuse me taking a photo with them in the diorama getting those close-up shots seeing all the details in the dio it, it was fucking amazing so this is the the final setup and before I give you guys um in-depth and close look just want to throw in some figures just for comparison here is cyclops marvel legend six inch figure here is bruce lee sh figure arts generally a smaller character an import figure nathan drake from uncharted I for, I'm sorry i forgot what line this is from but i want to get him in there so now i'm gonna dig in and get in a little bit closer so you guys can see so here's the the base of the floor a lot different than what I initially wanted and planned. Uh, here are the pillars. Um, this is real moss that I added from the Dollarama, just to kind of give it, I guess now what I was going for was, rather than a bloody Colosseum look or temple look, it's still that, but now I guess it's an older abandoned one. Uh, no one's been here for a while, so we got the moss all along. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is that those excess um, foam pieces that I mixed in with glue. Um, I splattered it over. I also mixed, did another batch and mixed it with sand. Yep, that's right. Sand that I found in my daughter's sandbox. Um, obviously, it was wet being that it's fall. And I um, threw the sand in the oven just to dry it and keep it hard. Pause. And turned out pretty good especially with the glue I use a lot more glue this time and spread it on liberally so I kind of did that on the ground and on the sides just to add some detail there's the moss here is oh. here's the corner so again more details a lot of green just to show the greenery Moss there. Move this out of the way. And these are just uh, again more excess dial pieces. As I said, never throw these out. They're a waste. So I just made them into I guess modular little temple blocks that I can kind of move around and use out my well. Um, 
threw in some moss as well. I can't get that close. Some moss and well as well. So now I just have a whole bunch to play with. And what I do with the moss is I just put some regular glue, tacky glue, threw it on, applied it on, and then just kind of put the moss and pressed it on top. So here's again more detail with the sand. And as you can see, it is all magnet based. So I have magnets there, there, and magnet here as well. There is one last thing that I do need to uh, apply on the dial. I do gotta just put in some Mod Podge, some sealer. Uh, it's just acrylic sealer because I use acrylic paint throughout the entire dial. I'll just do this outside when the weather's a little bit nicer. It's freaking cold over here. It's already snowing. Um, but yeah, as soon as, uh, as soon as I do that, I'll, I'll probably seal it. Not too much, just to make sure that the paint stays in. <laughs> Apocalypse build the figure wave I mentioned the X-Men arcade game and you know when I'm doing these types of reviews I'm generally kind of cleaning out my display at the same time too and I happen to see this Cyclops that came with the uh, um, two pack the Jean Grey two pack and I thought to myself shit oh yeah that's the uh, that's the arcade Cyclops and this kind of started going through my display found the brown Wolverine found the Nightcrawler Storm, Colossus, um, I guess the only figure we're actually missing or that Hasbro needs to pull the trigger on is Dazzler. And I thought to myself, man, I haven't done a uh, uh, display with the uh, the arcade. And this is, I think, from 1993. Yeah, the X-Men arcade game. If you were born in the 80s, you knew about this arcade game. And I just wanted to get in a quick display really really quick but I guess what I wanted to talk about was kind of more of the composition of the team sure I just kind of threw them out there this was actually a really quick easy display for me I really do enjoy making portrait type of displays but you still have to find that balance and that symmetry so I started with if I remove everything here Cyclops we all know Cyclops is the leader so I wanted him him front and center so when I what I do is set my camera up the camera's rolling I'm looking through the lens finder boom I'm pre-posing Cyclops I'm putting him right dab in the middle he's the number one who's the number two arguably would be Wolverine so I wanted to do first a kind of a side-by-side -side shot kind of like a back-to-back and then when I started going through my character list, then that's when I kind of started building the scene. Well, I always like, it's not necessarily a rule, but I, I like having, when I take photos, I like having the people in the photos as odd numbers, you know, one, three, five, seven, nine, so on and so forth. I think that's just my little meticulous way of thinking because even when I build my army builders, I generally have it in odd numbers. Just because when you do it odd, there's always going to be the middle and everybody around it. So that's when I said, okay, I got my three. These were all pre-posed. Um, so there, one, two, three. Cyclops in the middle, Wolverine. Nightcrawler to the side, but I kind of wanted to uh, what you also want to do when you create composition is Fill the screen. So there's a lot of dead space a lot of empty space here. So I take um, the Marvel select Colossus Throw him right there He's huge. He's big. He fills up the space He's another integral part of the team So he's added there 
now you can see this space here is, is a little blank and that's when you can kind of fit storm in to the side and everybody's standing nobody's on any type of stands or sticky tack it's just a simple portrait display everybody's pre-posed you can see everybody clearly and that's kind of the goal or the idea that I use when I'm creating these types of scenes just kind of get that composition together fill up the space and what I'll do now is since this is on a video camera let me scoot a storm a little bit more there then I can kind of zoom everybody in and then that's when I can kind of get that shot that I want so something really quick really simple and we'll move on to the next one give you guys a little breakdown of the shot I did this was the first shot I did with my new dio not sure why I thought of it but um, I wanted to uh, get Duke in a chokehold pose and right now he's choking the shit out of a, a lifeless Figma Captain America and that's kind of what I was going for so I was playing around with the ang angles so I have Duke you know, kind of leaning forward, kind of simulating that he's giving it his all. Um, he's His head is leaning on the back of Captain America while he's choking him out. I got Captain America's hands straight down with the palms open, looking like it's, I guess, kind of lifeless. His legs looking wobbly, discombobulated. Added a uh, ACBA cutout um, to kind of simulate that wrenching effect and um, I'm happy with this man um, the beauty is that with how I shot it you could never you'd never know that it was you know a brand new detailed dio and I know that kind of sucks that you know why am I not shooting it closer to get all the detail well that's the beauty of it because there's plenty of time for that so with the the minimal dials that I do have have to mess around and play with certain angles. So, you know, I'm not the, the, the whole point of me capturing a shot is not just to show off the dial. Um, dial is kind of the afterthought. It's nice when it's completed and, and whatnot. But the bottom line is I want to get the posing down. I want to make that scene. Um, I want you guys to see what I'm trying to do without any type of captions. And I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, but if you guys have any suggestions, give me a shout um, in the back. If I zoom out here, I have a yellow piece of cardstock, construction paper you can get at your local Dollarama. Got a shining uh, white light bulb on it. I got my two lamps here filtered with tissue paper just so it's not that strong of a light. And that's about it. All right, y'all. You know what? I'm going I'm to call this a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Catch me on Instagram. Uh, flip underscore gnosis. And uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the flip side. Keep creating. Peace.